All right, man, gonna share some simple information. I've made one on heads before. There's different combustion chamber sizes, different combustion chamber shapes. Uh, no heads really proper unless you make your own. Uh, what is squished? Uh, different things you can change. And like I said, different combustion chamber sizes, and there's a purpose for sizes. And you can find a formula for what's called squish bandwidth in two stroke tuner's guide if you have the ability to change that. There's good heads, bad heads. I see a lot of people making a lot of bum mistakes, especially on the Minarellis using a fake Jake head. When Minarelli cylinders, they actually make a proper head with the proper squish angle, squish area. And combustion chamber size so let's get to what squish actually is people say squish is when you checking squish yes you squish a piece of solder and a good safe point is 0.75 to 0.95 millimeters now let's get to talking about what is squish and i drew a little picture i'm not a pro drawer and as you notice i got my smart hat so i decided to share some smart factual information Squish is actually, what happens is pistons traveling up, your fuel charge came in through the transfers, uh, it's filled with fuel, pistons traveling up, and squish is actually what that, this angle, which is called the squish band and squish angle and squish angle area, right? This is what's considered toroidical shape, that's more like a hemispherical shape. So long story short is it's an important part of a two stroke. Squish is actually when the piston's traveling up, it squishes that fuel charge to the center of the combustion chamber, spark plug fires, boom. It, it, it's an important part of a two stroke. It prevents detonation and it helps cooling. And what happens is when that fuel charge <coughs> explodes, that little area slows down the frame, flame travel, goes out slow prevents knocking and big part of cooling so that's your squish angle that's the width of that is is the squish bandwidth and combustion chamber so that, that covers what squish actually does and is now as far as combustion chambers go seen some bad information on that static compression goes up with rpm so typically a higher rpm motor you'd want to run a bigger combustion chambers say like a seven or eight cc long endurance motors you'd want a bigger combustion chamber if you want more power down low you'd want a smaller combustion chamber anything smaller than say a five cc probably a start running hot so that's that's my information on combustion chamber sizes now something to look at when you buy a head I don't know what brand head this one is, but it's closest to the best. 675, which is still large. Should be about a 5.5 five on your bandwidth, right? But look, that's an actual 47 millimeter combustion chamber. This is a Fred's 47 millimeter combustion chamber, but the angle's slightly off, right? Love a Fred head. This, I don't know what it is, but as you can see, combustion chamber is too small. That angle's completely wrong. They just used a ball end mill bit. Can you correct it? Yeah, if you got machining skills. This one here, bore's a little small. Angle's about right. Angle area's wide. This one here, the bore's small. The angle's close. The bandwidth's big. And this one's a Cortez head. Like the Fred, I like this one. Uh, some other tips I can give you on squish band or, you know, just squish. If, if you notice, a stock cylinder has that chamfered area up there. Now, I like to get away from using the thicker copper head gasket because, number one, these cylinders are goofy. It's got that goofy trapped area up there. Then you add one of these gaskets. Now you have a real funky, really useless squish area. That's why I deck cylinders see get rid of that goofy band then if you use a copper head gasket which fits better and you, typically i like to set my stuff my stuff up with the thinnest copper head gasket i could use to achieve my 0.75 millimeter squish so there's some good information for you 
I ran all the heads, the Jake heads, all that. Like I said, these Minarelli guys using the Jake head without a corrected angle, band angle width, and a, uh, squish band width and squish angle. It, they're throwing power out the window. So when you see a Minarelli with the Jake head, unless they corrected it, wrong head for the application, they should have just used the proper head for the proper application, which would have been a Minarelli head. Them guys are pretty smart and they got their shit together. Just like my MXS, right? Why, why would I throw the wrong head, a head that's designed with a proper angle, proper angle area, and a proper squish band on a, on a good motor. That's just dumb business, so there's some great information for you. That's what squish is. Got videos on how to check squish properly. You always want to check it on the wrist pin. Prevents piston rock, or takes away <coughs> false reading from piston rock. Don't get it in your transfers. You're welcome. That's what squish actually is. That's what it does. There's the information on combustion chamber shapes, angle angle bandwidth, or I'm bad with words, but you get the picture. You've seen the picture. Now you know what it does. Have a great day.